Okay, so like one of the things that I've been kind of wondering about, and I've been talking about it with you guys in the comments back and forth, like who's who's a better combo, Makage and Harima or Makage and Ninja? Now I'm showing you guys this live arena fight right now just because I don't really do live arena all that much, but for the missions for Marius, for Marius, I am going to have to do it. But um, we're just gonna do one fight here and then I wanna take it on over, what am I doing? Who am I picking next? Uh, I don't really know who I'm, uh, we'll go Warlord. For the, um, uh, for this video, what I wanted to focus on was basically the damage difference. Be oh, fuck. He got rid of how how could you get rid of harima how why would you do that why would you do that doesn't matter uh the damage difference in hydra i'm gonna do hydra normal i'm gonna check the difference in damage between ninja and makage versus uh, i'm gonna throw it on auto here versus um makage and harima now i've told you guys before that or maybe you, you missed it but harima and Makage together both do very well together. I think the last time I did uh, I, I did hard and she was hitting the headless heads the decapitated heads for 1.5 to 2 million. It was actually pretty insane Ninja with his HP activation debuffs does a lot, but I haven't used Ninja in um, Hydra in a really long time, so I don't really know how he's gonna perform I recently somewhat just rebuilt him. I tried to put him in Savage too. Uh, Harima and Ninja are both going to go into the Hydra fight with Savage gear on. I felt like that was, you know, a, a good thing to try and test out. Now, uh, let me show you guys their builds first. I'm going to go ahead and click that. So, Harima, uh, it's a plus two. All right, I have a plus two Harima here and I have a plus two Ninja here, both in Savage right here both in savage okay now granted i will admit harima has the better gear harima has the better gear he does not have the same high level blessing as harima does harima has a five star blessing ninja only has a two now i'm going to show you guys the difference in stats defense based 7.6 312 uh, crit damage 267 speed ninja 264 speed only 230 only 4.6 here are the masteries he's more focused on doing damage through his hp burns because of the fact that ninja is basically a boss killer for the most part look at this i i'm always astounded at the the level of detail no matter what i mean just look at this blue dude i really like this level of or this color of blue this tone of blue the shade of blue and Harima, same thing. She got the shade of green on, looking looking very nice. Unfortunately, I didn't get her during this um, 10x, 2x event on my main, but you know, it's fine. We have a Helm Smasher with her. And I think that also contributes to why she's able to pump out 2 million per hit. And I'm not saying this is like a one-off thing. I'm telling you guys, she hits super hard in Hydra. Several times she's done it. So I'm gonna take them into normal. This is the first team that I'm going to set up. I'm going to let it run on full auto. I'll, um, I think I'll stop maybe somewhere like, I don't know, uh, 20 turns. And we're going to see the difference between the damage that they both put. The difference here is I'm going to switch out Harima with, uh, what was it? What was his name again? Uh, Ninja. So this is the team. Harima is really good for not just for PvP content. You guys already know that. But like if you guys don't know, Harima is awesome in PvE content. Look at this. She hits extremely hard. 272 on that. Headless head. No decreased defense. That is for something. Every time Makage attacks with her A1, Harima is going to jump in with the attack as well. She has the provoke on her A3 move. So 682 right there. Trying to get the right setup. Okay, positive, or there you go. Uh, two 300s. Okay, now we have decreased defense up. She is strong against the head over here. I'm gonna focus down on this head. See if we can see the damage she puts out. Okay, 921 with her A3. 
Let's let it go. Okay, here we go. She's going to hit this 480, 516. I think the way it works, the reason I, I started seeing the million hits, the 2 million hits, was after she supercharged her defense, because with her A2, she actually gets stronger, kind of like Roto. So her A2 is going to increase right here the defense of this champion by Harima up to 100% whilst decreasing the defense of the Hydra Heads by 30%. So, you know, keep that in mind. There's these mechanics where the longer she fights, the stronger she gets. Just like Rotos, except Rotos is you know, HP based. Okay, so we have the Provoke up. We don't have to worry too much about the Hydra cleansing anything. It's just raw damage. We're just straight raw dogging it here. We're gonna, you know, let this run until 20 turns and then we'll we'll see where we're at generally speaking you'd want to go ahead and aim down on certain champions like you don't want to be hitting on this on these heads that have the poison clouds up just because like it's not not the best move because you're going to be weak hitting but uh, for the sake of this i'm just gonna let it be that was 1 million right there on her a3 so she's getting there she's getting stronger just wait for these poison clouds to pop down or uh, diminish or what do you call it? Uh, go away, basically. All right, so that head got a turn. Let's see what we do here. We're doing 267. On this head, we're doing 344. And let's see here. I'm trying to show you guys the 2 million hit. Let me see if I can wait for it to pop up. 831. I was up in the 400s, mid 4s. Varl the Destroyer. Somebody, uh, Charmop actually, in my guild, recommended that I build him out for Hydra. I wrote him off. Uh, I've, I've had him for a long time. <clears throat> but I wrote him off as like a champion I didn't really care about because I didn't hear too much about him. But then again, uh, I don't really watch all the content creators. So, you know, probably missed something. But apparently, um, Charmop's not the only one because, okay, 1.1 million right there. Charmop's not the only one because a lot of people have been telling me that Varl is actually a great champion to, to use. So 95, that's with the buff because every time a new head pops up, this buff comes up so that you don't do as much damage to them as you would uh, generally like. I guess we're going to let this run a little bit more. I really want to see those 2 million hits. Once I get once I see a 2 million hit, then I'll run it and then I'll run Ninja. Same, same level, same team up to the same uh, boss turn counts. Okay, so we're completely just running through this team. I also recently put Harima in my clan boss team. And except for negative affinity, it's a one key. And I thought that was pretty interesting because for the most part, I've been running unkillable teams for my Hydra, or not my Hydra, for my Demon Lord. That's 1.1, almost 1.12. But because of Harima, and, you know, the other champions, I'm not going to say it's all Harima, but... In, okay, that was 2 million right there. Did you see that? 2.1 million on her A3. Did you see that right there? That's huge. There it is. Okay, so that's turn 30. We're going to let it... We're going to stop right there. That was turn 30. In 30 turns, Harima did 32 million, okay? Yeah, I put her in my, my Dragon Ball... I mean, my, my Demon Lord team... And I'm able to one key without the without having to uh, use a unkillable comp. Granted, uh, sometimes I go up against Spirit, and that's a two key. But I think what I'll do is just put somebody else in there, and that's fine. Or I don't know, I'll just two keys. It's no, it's no big deal. We we end up with like four or five keys in total throughout the day, so it's not that big of a deal. All right. So here we have Makage joining in with Ninja. Every time Makage attacks, Lady Makage attacks with her A1, Ninja's going to go in as well. The masteries are, are different. Again, my expectations are that Ninja will not hit as hard as Harima will. But who knows? Maybe the HP burns will provide something else that Har uh, Harima isn't. Like, look at, I'll be honest with you. Look at this, guys. Ninja is just chopping through. Like, he's just, like, smacking heads left and right, burning them, saying, you don't belong here. I'm not stuck in here with you. You are stuck in here with me. Ninja is just out here ganking them, straight murking. Dear God. 
That's impressive. Let me see what he does. Let's, okay, 444 with the A1. All right, he is stronger against the Spirit Affinity Heads. They're going down pretty quickly. Is it just me? Or, okay, so uh, 230, 213. How much are those HP burns popping off for? That was 4-1. Okay, that was 500 with the A3 off of Ninja. I'm paying attention to where, is he, where he's hitting. Ugo going in. Shout out to Ugo. Been the realest one since the beginning. 450. 450 HP burns was like 120. Was that it? And every time an HP burn pops off, that's 120, I think. Yeah. Okay. All right, so he does get the buffs as well. He's hitting for 230 on the on the negative affinity head here. 139. The nice thing about Ninja also is that he brings the, de uh, the decreased defense on his A1. And he's, he's definitely stacked with accuracy as well. Okay, we weak hit that time. That's okay. And I basically only use him now in Phantom Shogun. I don't even really use him in Sand Devil. As of right now, okay, so we're in the same situation here where this head did get a chance to place the Poison Clouds. So this is going to be relatively the same situ... Um, not the same situation. It's going to be pretty similar, I think, because we were able to get into the same situation where, you know, the last one with Harima, we got the Poison Clouds up, and now we have the Poison Clouds up here as well. So it's going to be good. This is a good thing. This is a good thing. Where is that Hex coming from? Is it? Ooh, oh, I think Nekmo has Hex on. Sometimes I change. Well, the thing is here, like I have multiple accounts and I'm always redoing builds. So I always kind of just forget what I do sometimes. Varl hitting for half a milli right there. That's pretty good. Gonna focus on uh, Varl one of these days. All right, we're gonna take it 13, 12 more turns. We're gonna see. Weak hit, 685 on the A1. That's with decreased defense against a positive or sorry negative for well negative for him oh i see hp burns are 30k pretty sure that's what i saw every time an hp burn popped off so we got this let me see what was that well did you guys see i think 377 was 732 on his a3 okay 732 that's not bad that's nothing to scoff at how hard are you gonna hit this okay he's gone he's gone iron gut said you shall not live. All right. So yeah, 30K. It looks like 30Ks per HP burn. I got to check to see what the... Okay, 700K right there. I forgot to check what the um, total damage was for the last run. Uh, I'm sure I'll see it once I rewatch this video. Got the smite on. He does have the smite on. 30K. That's against this head with the buff. All right, we have... Let's see, two more turns left. 634 coming from Ninja. HP burns popping off. Okay, Makage is putting in work. A3, 850 basically, 849, 850. We'll call it 850, round up. 237, knocking the Hydra head out. Okay, that is game that's boss turn 30 53.9 ninja hitting for 13.3 million so i think i think that it kind of just depends right because again hydra or sorry harima had the better gear she has slightly better, not not slightly, I'm going to say she has significantly better gear. And that's just because, you know, this Savage gear that I have on her is, I use her in PvP, basically. I don't use Ninja in PvP. Again, so it's not a perfect one-to-one -one match because the gear I have on him is not exactly the same as the gear I have on Harima. And on top of that, the blessings are different. So... Again, take it with a grain of salt, but you guys saw the difference between Harima and Ninja. I do think, and again, take what I'm saying here, my showcase here with a grain of salt, but like the difference is almost night and day. Like she did 32 mil, he did what, 13 mil? But it's not a perfect one-to-one. -one, uh, and I, I just really have to iterate that. But I just wanted to share this with you guys and talk about it. So yeah. Have a good one. Hopefully you guys um, pull Harimas. I, I know I'm going to be looking out for Harima one of these days. And um, 
you know, if you can get the, uh, I forgot what his name was. Uh, what's the, 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 ch the champion that you need to empower? Ninja? What's his name? Noble? Because I know some of you guys are going to ask, who do we empower him with? Yeah, Noble right here. So if you get two more Nobles, your Ninja can get uh, bumped up. And then if you can get a five-star blessing, I'd be interested to see if anybody has um, ever done a comparison between Harima and Ninja. I guess one way I could have made this better was to put her gear on him and then see but i don't know if uh i don't know like how do you i guess i could try the presets thing preset manager uh no that's not oh because it switches everything so i don't know what this i don't know i don't know how to use this i'm, I'm not i want to i don't want to do it but yeah god damn it look at this oh god <laughs> Thank you.